It is that time of the week again where I share with you the fragrance that I tried out this week, what I really loved wearing, all of that good stuff. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope you've had a great week. And yeah, I'll share with you my weekly lineup, what I went through. What I wore last Sunday um, was a bit of a shock to me because I don't wear it very often and it's La Vie et Belle by Lancome. Now this is a beautiful fragrance. It's a massive powerhouse, very popular, sweet, slightly powdery, patchouli heavy fragrance. Uh, but I've never appreciated it as much as I have uh, since... I wore Gigi by Avitim. So bizarrely, like when I first smelt this, the first scent that I thought of was La Vie Belle and I thought, oh, this is similar to La Vie Belle. So then when I put this on last week, um, I'm wearing it and I thought, is it similar to La Vie Belle? So I pull out La Vie Belle, I take a whiff, and then I'm like, no, not similar to Le Vie Belle. So then I smelt Olympia Intense and I told you guys all about this. Uh, and it to me reminds me a lot more of an Olympia Intense, just with more fruit and without the salt. Uh, so this is so pretty. But um, what was interesting is after I, like I smelt this, smelt uh, Olympia Intense, and then I'm like, gotta go back to the Le Vie Belle. So I went to smell the La Vie Belle and it smelled way better than it had ever smelled to me because uh, I could smell the fruits a lot more. Like I could smell uh, kind of juiciness and delectableness, whereas before it smelled a little bit like a big huge mosh of potent fragrance. Uh, it just smelled kind of mashed all together all of a sudden because I'd smelt the amber centric fragrances I was all of a sudden picking up on the fruitiness and just totally digging it. So what you get in the opening is black currant and pear and I was definitely picking up on that juiciness in particular from the black currant. So I would say where's the nostril or nostril where's the nostril uh, yeah, I was picking up that black currant for the first time and I am so in love with it. So I wore this one on Sunday and I absolutely enjoyed wearing it. Like I was kind of shocked because this one I'm like, eh, yeah, it's nice, but not loving it. And I really enjoyed wearing this. So if you haven't worn it for a while, pick it up and maybe smell an amber centric fragrance first. Uh, because I can't believe what that did for this one. So very interesting. Now I kind of want to try wear these both together because when I smell th when I smell this one after smelling this one, um, I notice the depth of the amber and like it makes my mouth water uh, even more. So interestingly, I want to try combine these at some point, but that would be a massive, massive powerhouse. <laughs> Now on Monday, and this is also thanks to one of my wonderful subscribers. I never mention your names because I don't know if you're comfortable with that, but uh, one of my subscribers, she's so wonderful. She uh, um, comments all the time, you know who you are. Uh, she suggested that for the weekly fragrance uh, component that I share, like maybe mix in because my my collection is a little smaller to mix in some samples which I thought was a really great idea so uh, happiness sparkles who really is just a sparkle of a person uh, I'll leave her channel linked down below she sent me some uh, fragrance samples and one of them was D squared uh, want I've been wanting to try this fragrance out for quite some time this one has had a lot of rave reviews D squared want uh, it opens with ginger, pink pepper, and orange. I get a little bit of that ginger, but not much. Then it has heliotrope, damask rose, and neroli, and the base has Mad Madagascar vanilla, vanilla absolute, and woody notes. Now, um, what this comes across to for me is like almost a caramely type vanilla, like it smells like a vanilla caramel. Uh, vanilla caramel with a hint of spice, and rose. So the rose I don't notice at first. At first it's quite sweet, then it becomes quite rosy, 
uh, and then in the dry down it becomes uh, a lot more sweet again. Uh, this one is really pretty. I can see a lot of people liking it. Um, somehow it just doesn't work for me. The, the rose with kind of that vanilla caramel just kind of makes me feel a little bit sick. Um, I ended up with a bit of a headache uh, because of it and it, like I said it's really quite pretty uh, very sweet um, but for me like it, there's a hint of powderiness to it as well uh, but for me this one was a bit of a headache inducer uh, and not many fragrances do that for me but this one yeah I can see a lot of people really enjoying it you're a nice sweet rose uh, with some caramely vanilla uh, but it's not for me Okay, another subscriber uh, had the idea of talking about some fragrance combos, so to share my lotions and different stuff like that. Now, I had just been to Bath & Body Works because they had their big, uh, you know, semi-annual sale. Uh, so I picked up a couple different fragrance, or a couple different lotions, and the first one is Dark Kiss. Now this one has Black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot, Incense, uh, vanilla, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. This one, uh, to me, when I smelt it, I instantly thought of La Nuit Tresor. So um, I don't have that one, but I have La Reeve's Taste of Kiss. Uh, and so I paired the two of these together, and they just worked beautifully. Uh, it lasted like it was a huge powerhouse of a combination. Lasted all day. This one, I get that black raspberry vibe. Uh, like it smells almost like a raspberry syrup. Uh, so this is really pretty. And then the Taste of Kiss, it's just such a beautiful fragrance. Um, it's not as good as La Nuit Tresor. Uh, so La Nuit Tresor by Lancome definitely has a smokier, deeper quality. It's sexier. This would be like the younger sister. So it's close, you still get that same vibe, but it's not got the depth that the original has. Uh, this was like really, really affordable as well. Like I think La Reeve perfumes run around 20 or under. Uh, so such great prices on these. Um, so this one, beautiful, and then this combo was absolutely stunning. I just love it. Like, I really, really enjoy this fragrance. It's quite a sexy, sultry fragrance. So this has pear, bergamot, and tangelo in the opening, and then the middle notes are strawberry, vanilla orchid, passion fruit, and black rose. The base notes are where this really shines. It has praline, caramel, vanilla, incense, lychee, patchouli, coumarin, coffee, papyrus, and licorice. So a ton of notes in this one. If I were to choose between the two, I would go with the original because it's more smoky and darker. Uh, but if you don't really care about that, this is a beautiful fragrance. And like I said, this was, I, I just smelled phenomenal. Like literally phenomenal all day. Let's face it, we're always smelling phenomenal. Like when do we not smell good? Like we always, we leave trails of goodness everywhere we go. <laughs> okay, so Tuesday evening I decided to wear Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Femme with this same lotion. So I thought, oh, this will be a neat combination because this supposedly has raspberry in it. Uh, but I never smelled the raspberry, so I thought, oh, I'll mix the two together and get my raspberry fix. What a mistake. Like, I, I just was grossed out by the combination, for starters. And second of all, I really liked this in the past, and I just think it's not for me anymore. Um, it, it smells like it's nice enough, but I'm not getting any of those top notes. Like, there's supposed to be raspberry, mandarin, orange blossom, maybe a little of the orange blossom maybe a little bit of the marshmallow, maybe a little bit of sandalwood, but to me, it just smells like, you know those people that have zero personality, like it's hard to have a conversation with them, uh, and, and maybe like, you know, they, they just, they're just surface, like just so surface, and you know, if you try to talk about anything deep, it's impossible. Uh, that's what this reminds me of, like it's nice enough, but like even like there's no color to the shoes. <laughs> like it's just it's just bland to me. So I think this one's gonna actually leave because sadly it's just not doing it for me. Like I don't know what happened. Maybe I'll like it better in the spring, but to, like on Tuesday, this was a major no-go. Like I was like, ugh, 
now I'm stuck with it for the evening. Like, I was really disgusted by it. So, yeah, this was a no-go. <laughs> now, Wednesday, I just loved myself all day. And it's because I wore Alien Essence Absolute. I haven't worn this one in ages. Um, I just, I save it. Like, I'm getting a bit of a dent in there. Like, I don't know if you can even see. Yeah, you can see the dent. So I'm a little bit nervous because it's like only, oh, look at how dark that juice is. Like, can you see it on this strip? Like, it is, oh, this is so good. This is like some sort of elixir, intoxication elixir. <laughs> oh, I love this one. It's got the jasmine DNA fully, but then with myrrh and incense and vanilla, it smells thick and resinous. Ugh, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, this is just, it's so gorgeous. And I put it on. Um, I noticed the jasmine a lot more in the opening with that kind of medicinal f vibe from the, the uh, myrrh. And then as it dries down, you get more, you still get that, that jasmine heavy alien-esque uh, vibe. But uh, you start to get a lot more of the sweetness from the vanilla. I got it on my lip now. But anyway, uh, this one, I just, I love it. It's stunning. It was, I was by myself literally the whole day and I didn't care. Like I was happy about being alone with myself. <laughs> I smelled so good. Like, yeah. Thursday, I wore L'Interdit by Givenchy. Now this is pear and tuberose and vanilla. It's long lasting, it's gorgeous, it's feminine, it's delectable. This is the EDP version, so it's a lot thicker, a lot more syrupy. The EDP is a little lighter. You still get that tuberose sweetness, uh, but it's got a poppy note and it's just a little bit more, uh, it's a little fresher, whereas this one's a little bit more vanillic and syrupy. Um, it's such a heavy hitter, it lasts for so long, I love it. Unfortunately, my friend Lori, she got it and she wasn't a fan. So I felt sad about that because I really like this one. But it's not for everyone. Like, it's tuberose, big time tuberose. So that bubblegummy pear juiciness. So if you're not into tuberose, and, and lots of people aren't, this may not be for you. But, oh, I just love it. And it just smells so good. I can, I, you know, I just smell it all day on my clothes, on my skin. And I really, really enjoy this one. Now Friday, I decided to try another sample and that is Wild Poppy by Nest. Now this was one when I first started my fragrance journey that I was really considering getting until I smelt Wonderland Peony and somehow they fell in a similar category to me. Uh, they were both florals with some raspberry in them. This one has uh, grassy rose, pear, raspberry, jasmine, and apricot. Uh, I get mainly just a sweet, beautiful floral. It kind of reminds me of the peony uh, that I smell in Wonderland Peony. Wild Poppy has just uh, a bit more florals in it, in my opinion, uh, than the Wonderland Peony and a little less sweet. Um, I prefer Wonderland Peony over Wild Poppy. Uh, the longevity on this one, you're going to get about four, four or five hours max out of this one. The projection isn't great either. Uh, so I had decided against it, but it had been so long since I tried it and I had this sample. So I wanted to try it. I wouldn't recommend this as a full bottle uh, because of the longevity. Like I find that all Nest perfumes are just kind of uh. But as far as the Nest perfumes are concerned, Wonderland Pe Peony is definitely my favorite. It's a very pleasant uh, fragrance, like the raspberry in it, but there are other ones that I prefer. And Saturday, I pulled out Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. I haven't worn this one in quite some time. I think part of it is I like the opening better than the dry down. So the opening, I get the green apple, a little bit of coconut. I noticed the neroli. It's sweet. It smells slightly uh, like a boozy coconut. Uh, the apple comes across as boozy to me. As this one dries down, you get cedar and cashmere wood and vanilla. Um, I noticed the cedar for sure. It smells almost sandalwoody to me, like sandalwoody cedar. So definitely a woody base on this and the wood comes out fairly strong on my skin. It's still really pretty, 
Uh, I just prefer the opening on this one than the dry down. So I still like the only one intense way more than the only one. I don't even know why they're flankers because they're so different. Uh, I, I, I really, really enjoy this fragrance. The longevity, like I get about seven, eight hours out of this one. But like I said, uh, as soon as that top aspect leaves with the coconut and the booziness from that apple, um, I'm left more with a vanillic woody scent, which is nice. Um, but I'm realizing that woody is not necessary. If wood is ends up being prominent, uh, I'm not as big of a fan. Like it, it's nice, but it doesn't wow me. I like the juiciness. I like fruitiness. Uh, maybe I'm just immature. <laughs> I'm an immature 51 year old. <laughs> but um, yeah, this one, this one is really, really nice. Like the longevity, it's sexy, it's sensual. Uh, but yeah, I, I could do with a little bit more of the coconut and apple uh, that I smell in the beginning with this one. So overall, really enjoy this one. So those were my fragrances for the week. What was your standout fragrance? I would say that my standout fragrance was Alien Essence Absolute, sadly discontinued. Uh, this was a standout, but also, honestly, this combination was a major standout this week. Uh, it smelled so good. It was juicy and deep and delicious. So great combination. Definitely like this Dark Kiss. Uh, I thought it may be too perfumey, but it wasn't. It was just really nice and really paired well with this this uh, taste of Kiss or like a La Nuit Tresor. So really enjoyed. I guess I liked wearing the deep kind of sensual fragrances this, this week, probably because it's winter, eh? <laughs> so anyway, uh, that is it. Hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.